what we're going to be doing today is we're going to do recurring sales receipts to be specific. And what that does is it automatically um, and instantaneously takes payment um, from a customer rather than sending out an invoice and then waiting on the payment. So um, the first step of doing that, so you want to make sure that your payments account is active within your QuickBooks Online. Um, in order to check on that or to set it up in the top right here, you'll see this gear icon for the settings. You can go ahead and click that. And then company settings. In the left-hand column, there's going to be a payments option right here. And then you can go ahead and go through the process of setting up the, the payments. And what this does is it allows you to receive payments, whether through a sales receipt or invoice. Um, through QuickBooks Online, there is fees associated with this. So I know as of right now, you can either pay a monthly fee and have a lower percentage per transaction, or you can uh, pay no monthly fee and then have a little bit of a higher percentage per certain transaction. So you can check that out. And then the first step, if you haven't done so already, we're going to create the customer or client. And if you already have one, then you can go in and edit them. If you go into sales here in the left-hand column, you can go down to clients. It might say customers for you or clients, whatever you label it as. And then again, if you have one already set up of who you want to uh, take the automatic payments from, you can go and click on them and then edit them. And, and what we're going to do now is basically we're going to be adding in their payment information into QuickBooks Online. Um, but for this one, we're, so we're going to click new client here, new customer. And where you do that is in this billing and payment option right here. Um, under this down arrow here for preferred payment method, if you click on the QuickBooks payments option, so you can enter their bank information or their credit card number, you can do that here. And then once you choose that, you'll see this enter credit card details option here. And this is where you can edit their um, credit card number information, whether you're taking this information over the phone or if you have some sort of um, agreed upon document where they sign you permission or automatically um, bill them. But this is where you can add the information here. Once all the correct information is uh, inputted here, you can go ahead and save that. And then I'm just going to edit this out so you don't have to look through it, but I'm just going to go ahead and finish uh, creating this client or customer. So now that the client or customer is created and we have their payment information inputted in the QuickBooks Online, I can show you how to set up that recurring transaction to automatically take, away, take out their payment. So again, in the top right, if you go to that gear icon, under list, you're going to see recurring transactions. You can click on that and then we can hit new here. And then again, so we're going to choose the sales receipt option here. We're going to name this monthly bill test. Uh, so keeping this as scheduled is what's actually going to um, make this take the payment. If you keep it as reminder or unscheduled, you can still keep this as a template, but it won't actually take away any payments or anything until you actually um, use the template and then run it through. But for this example, we're going to keep this in scheduled. We're going to create this zero day, days in advance um, with sales receipts. So if you're billing on the first of the month every month, then you can just keep that at zero. If you, if you put that at something else, it, it may potentially bill them earlier than what you're intending. I'm going to choose that client or customer that we created earlier. You can choose this if you want to send emails during during the uh, the payments. There's a few intervals you can do here. Um, if you just want to keep it simple, monthly on the first day, but just know you can do daily, weekly, yearly. Um, you can make it like the first Monday of every month if you'd like. So there's a lot of options here, but we're going to keep this the first of every month. You can choose the start date as well as any end date. If you have some sort of uh, contract or anything, you can choose the end date here. That's not um, accidentally automatically bill them after you know the contract's over or anything like that. And then, so right here is where, so it automatically has it since we have their uh, stuff inputted here. But again, if you choose for payment method, this QuickBook Payments credit card, um, you can choose this checkbox here. So this checkbox right here is what's actually going to automatically uh, process that credit card monthly. And then from here, it's just pretty much straightforward as to, um, you know, choosing the service date, which service you used, the rate, things like that. If you want any messages or anything to be sent to them, you can, you can add those here, but 
Um, we're just going to go ahead and at this point we're going to save the template. And now that this template is saved and we have it uh, set up to be scheduled on the first of every month, so now what will happen is at the first of every single month automatically, it's going to take that payment for that specified amount that we, uh, that we made um, from their credit card into your bank account every single month uh, automatically. And of course, everything will also be tracked within QuickBooks Online in terms of your sales and income and things like that. Thank you for watching. If you have any uh, questions, you can get in contact with me um, or if you'd like some more one-on-one -on -one type of assistance, we can get that scheduled as well. Thank you.